Hey, you might think I'm the dumbest person on planet Earth, but check this out. Evidence of this can be found by examining the advanced astronomical, scientific, and mathematical equations contained within that. One formation had everyone baffled, and people were saying, well, what is this? Then a mathematician had a look at it and said, wait a minute. There we go. That's a representation of pi, and it's correct down to ten decimal places. It's a representation of pi in a geometric sense. It's kind of interesting because the way you get pi out of it is the lengths of the different arcs in each segment. And what happens is there's these little notches in the Look at this stuff, man. Let you know you're at the end of an arc. So you actually have to measure the arc length as you go around, and their lengths give you the digits of pi. And there's a little circle to give you the decimal point. So it's a really interesting example of using geometry as a code for go. representing digits and numbers. It just shows the level of knowledge, mathematical knowledge, and geometric skill that goes into making these things. Man. Many of the most famous crop circles actually derive from fractal patterns. Man. The Mandelbrot set. The Julia set. To make these, you have to have knowledge of math. Mathematics is, of course, the universal language. If we ever encounter aliens, they're not going to speak English or, or French or German. We'll speak and we'll communicate via mathematics. Could crop circles, as some believe, be an attempt from an alien civilization to reach out and communicate with us? There's a consistent wow. amount of sacred geometry, tetrahedrons, cubes, octahedrons, and even more complex geometric patterns. Many of our best and top scientists are now saying that this geometry is the secret keys to the higher dimensions, and it's right there in the crops, as if wow. there's a trail of breadcrumbs oh my showing God. us how Come to get on. to the next level as a planet. Focus. That was David Wilcock. Formation that contains celestial patterns and mathematical equations really have been created by otherworldly beings attempting to communicate with humans. And if extraterrestrial forces are sending messages to mankind, why aren't world governments more interested? Some insiders say they are and suggest that they are not only interested, but may even be directly involved. Holy moly. Well, there it is, everyone. Is the government involved with aliens? Governments around the world? Or are they not involved with aliens? Alright, now we go.